Welcome everyone to Learn How to Launch. My name is Michelle Finnegan Nixon and today we are doing a five minute tutorial on how to add an alpha channel to your graphics. And in this tutorial you're going to find out what an alpha graphic channel is, why you need them, and how to create one. But first you should probably know who you're learning from. That's always a good idea, right? My name is Michelle Finnegan Nixon and I am a sales and marketing business coach specializing in sales training over the phone in person and from the stage and online virtual businesses and I've kind of done the gamut of business uh, for about 20 years with a special focus on online virtual businesses for the last 10 years So that's enough about me let's go ahead and jump in so the first question is why an alpha channel what is it in simplest terms it is the checkered boxes that you see here on the graphic below. This image is courtesy of moxieentrepreneur.com. You'll have to thank Crystal for that by visiting her website. And the reason why you need them is so that once you've spent a lot of time and energy doing your graphic and you want to change the color, you want to be able to have it with this alpha channel to make putting in the background colors or background pictures so much easier. And also it can save you a lot of money. So if you can, you know, hire a graphic artist to do this for you and make sure they give you the alpha channel, then it just saves you money in the long run. But again, the purpose of this video is for those that don't have the $250 resource and they want to do it themselves to save some money. Uh, a great tip is to actually have your kids learn how to do this and they will love doing graphic work for you because it's fun for them. It's like coloring, so they're, they're going to enjoy that. Okay, so let's keep on going to keep us in our five minute groove. And um, this is a Crystal O'Connor's page. As you can see, it says free access to Crystal's money making e-zine. This whole area up here was the same graphic that you see here with the alpha channel. So all Crystal had to do was have her graphic team pop in this beautiful burgundy color and she can change it anytime throughout the year. Blue, pink, purple, whatever she wants. And oh, by the way, if you haven't visited Crystal's MoxEntrepreneur.com, I encourage you to do that. She's an awesome business coach and she has a lot of um, free goodies that you should check out. Okay, so moving right along, now that we understand what the alpha channel is, I did put together this um, checklist so we could get started. It, there's 14 steps and obviously I don't want to bore you, but the most important step here is to get the GIMP free software. GIMP is like Photoshop and it's free. Photoshop can cost a lot of money, GIMP costs nothing. So it's, it's just a really good thing to have and um, play with. So go ahead and um, Google it, get the download, and then you can resume um, getting started on the, the tutorial. Okay, um, I also do a PDF version of this because I'm a bookkeeper <laughs> at heart. That accounting thing is in me. And I like to have a paper trail, even as that might not sound very popular. So sometimes, you know, it's like, what did I do with that video, you know? if I can't find it, it's just nice to be able to grab a binder, look at, you know, what exactly training that I want and just flip through it and, and be done with it. And so I can kind of go, oh yeah, now I remember how to do that. If you want the PDF, all you have to do is go to learnhowtolaunch.com. You can um, get access to the PDF trainings there with the screenshots. And, um, and that's, you know, for those that want to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Assuming you've got your GIMP, it kind of looks like this. What The first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit File, then you're going to hit Open, and I do talk fast, I apologize. Um, so you're going to find an image that you like, you're going to open it, and depending on your computer speed, it's going to take a little time. So. Okay, so it's showing that it's asking me if I want to keep um, my image intact, and I do. So that's what it's going to look like, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to add an alpha layer. So you can get rid of all this gray. You go to your photographer, and this is me, by the way, um, and you want to get rid of this graphic area of gray. You want to be able to pop in different things. So what you're going to do 
is um, you want to, let me see if I can push this down a little bit so you can see it a little bit. See where it says File here? File, you're going to um, go over where it says Layers, and you're going to go over to the Layers, and you're going to click on Transparency, and you're going to click on Add an Alpha Layer. And then once you add that alpha layer, you're going to be able to um, continue to change the image for future use. So you're going to click on Eraser. I like to use the Eraser tool. There are other tools that can do this too, but the Eraser is really for the beginner for me. I, I, like, I like it because it's kind of goof proof. You want to pick the size of the Eraser. Um, basically they, they have it in the brush area. I like to pick something very large and I like to you know make this a fast thing to do. So as you can see I've got this big circle and I can get a large area done. Okay, But then there's some areas that I need to really spend time um, very carefully so that it doesn't look weird and I don't accidentally do something like this. Oops, I took out my forehead, right? You don't want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to change your tool to a tool that's more subtle, which I like this fuzzy tool here, and then maybe change the size of it so it's smaller so I can get a little closer to this these sensitive areas where my, my hair is a little bit of a straggle, straggler, right? And then I will view this image a lot larger because then it makes tracing a little easier. See how that works? And I can keep on increasing that size a little bit more. And then I can um, spend a little bit more time, depending on how steady you know your hand is, you can actually be more meticulous in how you draw this area in here. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, then what happens is you end up with a finished picture that has all these areas in there. Now I can file save it, so you basically go file, save as, and at the top you need to put .png. So you can name it anything you want, but it has to be that plus .png. And then you hit the enter button and then what will happen is that graphic will be saved okay into whatever document file you want it to and then for fun just to give you an example I went ahead and um, on this layer tab I inserted this American Idol graphic um, I'm a singer so I thought it might be kind of fun to add me to the cast <laughs> and if you see the gray is not there, so whatever I lay this image on, I can actually um, be part of the cast. You can see that, right? Or if uh, I want to be next to Steven and look a little bit more like JLo, <laughs> I can do that too. So you can have a lot of fun with GIMP, and um, but more importantly, you can save a lot of time if you're trying to do you know backgrounds. You don't have to. Um, keep paying your graphic artist to, to do those things for you. and But eventually, like I said, you are going to want to eventually get a, a graphic artist because you're a business person and you're, you have way more uh, important things to do than graphics. But um, it's a good way of saving some money if you have to save some money. And uh, so that's all uh, she wrote on how to create an alpha channel so that you can have some uh, fun backdrops. If you'd like more information on learnhowtolaunch.com, please feel free to visit the site or visit our link below. And uh, take care and uh, may you prosper in your